Hi, I'm Kristen McGuire, Executive Director at Young Invincibles. Last night, we got to hear President Joe Biden deliver his State of the Union address to the nation. This was his opportunity to preview what's to come for the next three years, but also highlight all of his accomplished over his first year. Young people, did you hear everything you wanted to hear from our president last night? Head to the comments and let me know. Until then, here are a few of my takes. Let's start with the good. We are very much still in a pandemic, so it's great to hear that our president is willing to double down on resources to get Americans vaccinated so we can end this COVID-19 pandemic. And Young Invincibles is very proud to be a part of that effort with our national Gen Vax campaign, where we have young adult leaders throughout the country talking to our peers and letting people know that vaccinations are the best way to protect yourself against illness. Biden laid out his plans to help us eradicate this illness, including additional tests that will be available as soon as next week and new treatments. There was a huge emphasis on protecting democracy. And we were really happy to see the focus on voting rights because there are no more important rights than the right to vote in a democracy. Last night, the president charged Congress with the duty to fix our electoral system and protect our right to vote. Young people voted in record numbers in 2020 and soon young adults will be the largest voting bloc in our country. It's important that we safeguard our democracy, protect the right to vote and vote. We were happy to see the president highlight all the ways the administration and Congress have expanded access to health care. And we were also happy to hear plans that focus on access to mental health care. Now let's talk about what left us wanting more, higher education, am I right? Now we heard the president talk about community colleges being the backbone of our country. And we also heard mention of expanding Pell. But let's get real. Is it not enough that we are facing a massive affordability and debt crisis in our country? Americans should be able to go to college because they want to go to college. What about debt-free college? What about free community college for all? What about canceling student debt with the stroke of a pen? There was a lot to digest in this speech, but let's boil it down. When President Biden stepped into office a year ago, he inherited a hot mess. As president, he not only inherited a pandemic, but a financial crisis and several other crises that he needed to handle all at the same time. He's done quite a bit to get us to the other side of this pandemic and strengthen our economy. But we need to see him get to work for young people as he continues his tenure as United States president. So President Biden, Congress, young people are watching.